Hello and welcome all. My name is Khanam and this is my 12th video in React series. And in this video, we will see how to do internal styling, how to do inline styling, and also how to import CSS files inside our project. Okay, now I'll just open this one. This was our previous example in which we have learned about template literals. Now I'll just do control here, I'll delete everything. Okay, we will be writing the code completely from the scratch. I'll just import this one import react from react okay we have to import two modules react and react dom i'll be importing one more module import react dom from react dom okay these two modules are present inside my node modules folder i have to import this one this react is used for jsx elements and this is to render whatever we are doing now here i'll just write this one render method react dom react dom dot render and this will take two arguments first what should be displayed and second where it should be displayed what should be displayed is i'll just give here a uh, title as inline styling i'll just give here inline and internal styling now below this i'll just separate with this comma i'll be writing this document document dot get element by id and using this get element by id selector i'll be accessing this root which is stored inside index dot html and whatever data i'll be writing here that will be displayed inside this container okay now here i have accessed this one now if i just refresh this you can see i'll be getting the heading inline and internal styling okay now we are going to see this one how to style okay in react we have to assume that when we do internal styling whatever styling we are giving that is an object so here i'll just give an example i'll just create one variable i'll give my variable name as title and inside this i have to assume whatever i'm giving it should be an object so object will be closed inside curly braces and it will be having key value pair okay it will be having this key and inside double quotes or single quotes i'll be writing this value again i'll be writing this key and again i'll be writing this value okay like this we have to define objects okay in the same way when we are doing stylings we have to assume that it is an object and we have to close inside curly braces and we should be having this key and value pairs now we are just assuming this is an object so which means that this belongs to javascript now here instead of writing this key value pair we have to give the properties we have to give the selectors i'll just give color color i'll be giving i have to open you can use single quotes or double quotes i'll just give here orange color you have to separate using comma and also i'll be giving this background color if you are aware of css we used to write like this background color and we used to give some color here I'll give red here. You can see I'll be getting an error. When you are using this properties inside React, then you should not use this hyphen. Instead of that, whatever second letter, whatever second word we are having, we just have to capitalize that one and we have to give that one. We have to separate using comma. And next, if I just give here text, text transform, we used to give like this text transform. But in React, we are not going to give like this. We will be giving like this text transform. I'll just give here transform and I'll be giving this value capitalize. Now, once I'm done with this, okay, this title I have defined this object, whatever I'm defining here that I'm storing inside this title. And now this title is my object. Now I want to style. Now I want to give this stylings whatever I have given here that styling should be applied to this h1 okay that styling should be applied to my h1 and instead of this background color red i'll just give here black okay so that my text will be visible now here i'll just give the style now inside this i am writing javascript okay this is my jsx element now inside this i am writing javascript this is javascript now so i have to enclose in curly braces and i'll be passing that value i'll save this now if i refresh this one you can see i'll be getting all the styles i have background color as black my text transform is capitalized you can see first letter has been capitalized here and my text color is orange now if you want you can also give padding here you just have to separate with comma you can give padding padding i'll be giving 1m now you can see it's not accepting 1m it is not accepting because we have key value pair and value should always enclose in single quotes or double quotes i'll save this i'll just remove this semicolon i'll be separating with comma 
now i'll just refresh this one now you can see i got padding of 1m on all the four sides now i'll just give here one pixel i'll refresh this one you can see i got one pixel padding on all the four sides this is how we are going to use stylings we are just going to define stylings and we are going to assume that this is an object this title this whatever we are giving that is an object and inside object we are storing all the values here whatever values you want you can give like like this but in react we are not going to apply this kind of styles we will create separate file and we will be importing that file but to know that we can use like this i am just explaining you this one now this title is my javascript so to use javascript inside jsx elements we have to enclose in curly braces and i got this output now suppose instead of this one i want this entire data instead of writing this title storing instead of storing this values inside one variable that is object and passing this one what if if i want to add directly this data i'll copy this and here i'll just comment this one now this curly braces is for javascript object and inside this i am having this values so i should be closing this in curly braces and this is my javascript so i should be writing like this i have to open two curly braces and i have to close two curly braces and whatever values i want i can just pass this one instead of orange now i'll just give here red i'll save this now if i refresh this one you can see my text color is been changed okay this is how you just have to write two curly braces because this first curly braces will assume that we are writing javascript code and we are assuming that it is an object so we are writing an object and inside this we are passing this values so for this we have to enclose in curly braces okay this is how we are going to use inline stylings and also internal stylings now next we will see how to import css files i'll just do control b now inside this src i have this index.css and i have this app.css i'll be working inside index.css now i have to import this inside my index.js now this index.css is present inside the same src folder i'll just come to index.js now here i'll be importing css file i'll just write one comment importing css files now below this i'll be writing this import inside same folder i am having this index.css so i'll be writing this dot slash i'll just write this index index.css you have to write this extension i'll save this now whatever styles i have applied here okay i'll just copy this entire thing from here and i'll just remove from here okay i'll just keep this one i'll just create one more variable i'll uh, give my variable name as h2 inside this i'll be giving this um, external external style sheet now you can see here i'm getting an error because inside my render method i'm and you can see i have this two jsx elements okay we should be having only one jsx element so we have to wrap this inside any parent element or you can just use here syntactic sugar form okay now i got this now inside my h2 i'm just passing this one i'll just write here style now i have imported my css file here now i'll be styling this h2 i'll just copy this i'll be pasting it here and for my h2 i'll just come here i'll copy the same stylings and here i'll be pasting that one now here once you give the stylings here okay if you do the styling here you have to separate using comma if you are doing the stylings here you have to separate using semicolon here i'll just write semicolons here and also semicolon here and instead of this background we have to give our normal background color we have to give this normal background transform only then it will work because this is our normal css file now whatever styles we were applying whatever selectors whatever properties we were using inside our index.css we will be using the same thing in this file when we import the css file when we are defining here we just have to write like this we have this is uh, basically it is called as kebab case and we have this one okay the second word will be in capitalize and rest will be separated with comma now here this will be separated using semicolon okay this will be this we are going to write in the same fashion how we used to write in css files i'll save this now instead of this red color i'll just give here white i'll save this now if i refresh this one 
you can see here this is my h2 tag but styles have not been applied i'm just getting this heading i'm just getting the title whatever i have written inside my h2 why i am not getting styles because we have seen here we are just assuming this is an object and we are just writing like key value pair and value should be closed inside double quotes or single quotes but when we are importing this index.cs then why we have to write this values inside the single quotes we should not write like this okay we were not write we were not writing like this inside our css file so here also we should not be writing like this we just have to do the normal styling so we are going to use the same rules what we were using in style.css i'll save this now you can see all the styles have been applied i got the background color as black my text is in white color i'll just give the padding as 1m i'll save this now if i uh, now you can see i got padding of 1m on all the four sides and my text is been capitalized okay this is how we are going to import css files now suppose my css file is inside another folder i'll just create one folder inside this src i'll be creating one folder i'll give my folder name as styles and inside this i'm having one uh, file i'll just give the file name as index.css now here i'll just inside from here i'll just copy this styles i'll just comment this now inside index this i'll be pasting that one now if i refresh this one you can see the styles have not been applied because inside my index.js i am importing this index file okay this index file which is present inside the same root folder but now i have created separate folder and inside this i am passing this index.css and all the styles are inside this file so to import this one i'll just remove this i'll be writing this one now i have to come inside my src folder you can see i have all the files and folders i have to come inside src folder inside src i have style folder and inside style folder i have this index.css okay you have to write this part you should be very careful while importing and from where you are importing you should be very specific with the path now if i just refresh this one you can see all the styles will be applied okay this is how we are going to import css files if you are having separate folder you just have to go inside that folder and from that you have to import that file if you just don't give here src will it work i'll save this now if i just refresh this one you can see i'm getting an error this which fails outside of the project we have to give this src directory now if i just give here one dot i'll save this now again if i refresh this one you can see this styles will be applied so i'm just coming inside this folder i am just writing this link okay you can use any of the styles which you are comfortable i will not be using this one i will always import this one index.css file index.css which is present inside my same folder inside index.js you can see which is present inside my src folder now i'll just delete this one now if i refresh this one i will not be having any styles because i have deleted the file and this is my internal styling here i have given so i am getting the output here okay this is all about our internal styling external styling and how to import css files inside our project okay that's all for today's tutorial thank you so much for listening have a great day